Hello, I'm Dr. Garrett Boyer. Thank you for joining me for this first installment of Gospel Minded. Some context to this, since this is our first time. Uh, several weeks ago, I was at Mass and the Gospel was being read, and it struck me because uh, the words of it really caught my attention as a psychologist. And I just thought, man, of course the Scriptures, the Gospels, uh, point us in a direction to try and help us foster a relationship with God and, and, and have a great spiritual life. But there's so much material in the Gospels that has such relevance too for our behavioral health, our emotional health, our mental well-being. And as a psychologist, I thought, wouldn't it be great to uh, comment uh, each week on uh, themes of behavioral health that, that come out of the gospel. And so that's what this is all about. I would like to identify some of these themes that are relevant to behavioral health, emotional health, mental well-being that, that sort of stick out to me each week in the gospels and then talk about it here. I just remember yeah, several weeks ago when this happened, I thought even if, uh, even if somebody weren't Catholic, even if they weren't Christian, Still, some of the material that's in those pages is uh, so relevant to our behavioral health. And so th what this is not is a sermon. It's not a homily. I'm not going to unpack the scriptures. I'm not going to interpret the gospel. We'll save that for the clergy, the, the priests, the deacons, those who minister. What this is, is simply identifying some themes uh, related to behavioral health that stand out to me during the gospel for the week. And so hopefully you'll find this helpful. Let's check it out and see what kind of uh, comes up for this first Sunday. So today is the first Sunday in Advent, a uh, special time of year where we, we start to make those preparations for Christmas, of course. Um, and at the same time, we know that Advent is a season where we're also looking forward to the second coming of Jesus. So the gospel today reflects uh, some of this kind of mindset. Watch, look out, wait in preparation. Uh, of course, it's useful to think about in the context of getting ready for Christmas, getting ready for uh, the second coming. But that kind of message of watch, wait, prepare, uh, is very useful when we think about so many things in our day-to-day -day life. The watching, the waiting, the preparing. So let's talk a little bit about preparations because I think when we talk about behavioral health, preparations can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people and it could be one of those things that uh, provokes some anxiety because preparation for anything uh, can be hard. There can be a lot of challenges associated with it. And some of those challenges can have some real uh, ramifications and implications for our uh, emotional health, our mental health, our behavioral health. And so I just am thinking about a couple weeks ago, we had Thanksgiving and I saw a meme pop up on social media that I thought was kind of funny. Uh, and it made me chuckle and it also made me kind of wince a little bit because I thought maybe this is this is me and, and what's happening in my house. But it was a picture of two different uh, T-Rex characters. One was the uh, T-Rex from the movie Jurassic Park. You know, it's this big ferocious beast. And the caption underneath of that said, my mom making preparations for Thanksgiving. Like, mom is this ferocious creature. Uh, on the prowl, trying to make everything nice for Thanksgiving. And then underneath it was the T-Rex from Toy Story, which if you've seen that movie, it's the sweet, cute, fun T-Rex. Not scary, not intimidating at all. And the caption underneath of that was, Mom, when the company comes for Thanksgiving. And that made me chuckle, but I think it highlights a reality that a lot of us have experienced, that when we're making preparations, um, we can be like that ferocious T-Rex. We may not be at peace. We might not be the easiest person to live with. Uh, we might be uh, just kind of ferocious in a way that when we're not preparing for something, we may, we may not otherwise be that way. So when we think about this in the context of 
Advent, in the context of the scriptures today, in the context of us trying to flourish and be the best version of ourselves, what, what goes on uh, for us? Why is it that sometimes we're like this T-Rex that's scary, ferocious, a beast, when we would rather be the approachable, nice, pleasant, peaceful version? Uh, preparing is hard. There can be a lot of stress when we're trying to prepare for anything. So what are the obstacles? What is it in our life that, that makes it that we are, um, you know, behaving or, or acting like this ferocious T-Rex? Maybe part of it is in our preparations, we uh, have a couple things going on. Maybe one, uh, we're expecting too much. Maybe we want things to be looking just so, looking just such a certain way and perhaps our expectations are too high. Maybe we're not gonna quite be able to meet that, that marker. Uh, so I think expectation management is a huge piece of making preparations, having a game plan, kind of going into it, knowing what you wanna do. And then another piece of this is uh, not procrastinating. I think with a lot of things that we need to be preparing for, need to be getting ready for, it's easy to kind of put it off to a certain extent that that makes some sense uh it's easier to do the easy thing it's harder to do something that takes work that takes effort uh so we would rather uh seek out something which is pleasurable easy and and if it takes work if it's hard makes sense that we would want to procrastinate or there's that sort of natural inclination to it uh, but we know that in the long run that's probably not the best strategy and when when we get close to deadlines when we get close to in the in the case of thanksgiving the company coming that pressure kind of makes us turn into that t-rex that's scary and ferocious and mean trying to make uh, big preparations now with the last minute because we've procrastinated in general if we can avoid procrastinating chances are it's going to have better outcomes when we're trying to manage our stress level, our emotional health, our overall well-being. Now for the second point when we consider uh, today's scripture, this idea of watching. Uh, we're, we're thinking about in Advent getting ready for Christmas, preparing for Christmas. That's kind of the theme of the scriptures, the Gospels, these next several weeks. Uh, but I just wonder if this is something that happens in our day-to-day -day life when we're kind of looking for the next thing, we're waiting for the next thing, and we kind of miss that we may be in the midst of it here and now. Um, perhaps the best way to kind of illustrate this point is that I had a friend recently who uh, was promoted in the military. Very exciting, and uh, I've known a lot of military people over the years who've who've advanced in their careers and, and promoted, which is awesome. But kind of looking for that next thing, the next rank, the next great assignment, when in fact, some of the attributes of that next thing are already within our grasp. We already are able to, to do it and live out aspects of that life. So I mean this to say, instead of looking for when can I promote next? When can I get that next big job? When can I do the next big thing? What's going on in the here and now that, that reflects that? Say in the case of the military, I may not be promoted to the next level of, of enlisted soldier or, or officer, but can't I now start to live out the, um, the idea of being that kind of leader? taking on those big responsibilities, having that kind of uh, demeanor commensurate with that level of rank that we are hoping to get to. This whole idea of finding what we're looking for here and now. Yes, we're watching. Yes, we're looking. Yes, we're preparing. Uh, but sometimes what it is we're looking for or elements of what we're looking for are already present to us. And I just hope that we can sometimes take the opportunity to uh, watch down the horizon, but also to be aware of where we're at right here, right now. And what is it that we're searching for? Is a lot of it already within our grasp? Maybe. And so I, I wonder if that's true for the gospel today. Watch. That's the theme of the gospel today. Watch. Be looking. Be preparing. Uh, but 
so many of the things we're watching for and waiting for and looking forward to, say at Christmas, are already within our grasp. We can already live a virtuous life. We can be charitable. We can be good to our neighbor here and now. We don't need to wait until Christmas. Uh, that spirit of of peace, of joy, of gratitude that so often accompanies us at Christmas time. Maybe we can have some of that even now on the first Sunday of Advent. So these are just some thoughts I had for today. Am I on track? Am I am I am I off the mark? You let me know. Tell me in the comments sections below. But otherwise I appreciate you listening and I look forward to talking to you next week on Gospel Minded. Again I'm Dr. Garrett Boyer. Take care. Mm -hmm.